I'm going to start now. Uh, okay. <coughs> Unang una, we're, our, we're ICPF and lead by Sir Ryan. And then I'm one of the pioneering members of ICPF. Also, uh, um, my name is John, just to let you know. Um, okay. Nung kanina, nakita niyo ako, magang umaga, eh... Pumasok na lang ako dito, naka-uniforme pa ako before ako magpalit and everything. Kung napansin nyo, bigla ako pumasok sa likod. Uh, kasama din ako sa ICPEP, but I always do it on the back and side. Okay? If you notice, ako yung pinakamaki na sa likod. Kasi matangkad ako eh. Which is same as nung kasama ko doon, yung ating uh, speaker for entrepreneurship. Kung, uh, we started ICPEP in 2007 with uh, Sir Ryan. Uh, first batch kami, and then we're the first batch of officers also. With the group. Uh, meron din kami mga events like bowling. Then, nung previous uh, previous years, we have uh, running. Meron cycling dito sa Singapore. And then we also collaborate with other uh, engineering bodies like uh, ECE, OMI, electrical, mechanical, civil, um, architecture. Uh, just to let you know, 14 years na ako sa industry when it comes to IT, uh, more on technology. I finished my computer engineering in 2002. As you know, at matanda na talaga ako, at hindi naman nakahalata sa itsura ng mukha. Okay. Um, I'm, um, currently, I'm an IT guy sa office. Mostly, ang ginagawa ko is the back inside. Mostly, nasa Windows servers ako. I'm doing Windows servers. At, at the same time, I'm doing uh, Azure. At the same time, I'm doing also Microsoft Exchange, the email platform of Microsoft. Mostly, talagpata kayo, bakit ko ginawa ang Microsoft in the first place? Kasi, nung nag start pa lang ako, kung naalala yung mga very old systems like uh, Nobel, kung nabutan ninyong lahat yon, kasi very ancient na talaga yun. <laughs> yung platform na yun, medyo like, Died down na, and then si Microsoft ang pumasok, which is I was focusing on Microsoft instead, which is nagstart ako ng aking certification in 2008. Uh, I won't actually show the rest of the slides, which is if I'm going to track everything one by one, lahat ng certification ko from 2008 up to present, ma ma ano to, ma magtatayo bakit? Ginawa ni sir, oy, ang dami mong certification. Ilang years mo pinag-aralan yan, which is, it takes years to get certified. It takes years also to understand the technology of a certain product. Because nowadays, in this world, maraming uh, mga various products, if not just Microsoft, we have, um, we have VMware for virtualization, kakalaban ng Microsoft. We have uh, AWS, like my friend here, si uh, Solution Architect for AWS. Ang counterpart ko naman is Microsoft. Is I'm also a Azure Solution <coughs> and to, Associate. Kasi yun ang pinag-focusan ko. And then at the same time, nag-focus din ako sa email. Which is, right now, why, why are you uh, thinking, bakit itong tatlo ang pinag-focusan ko. Sa current role ko, I'm doing actually three. But uh, right now, I'm thinking only just one. Kasi mahirap talaga i-manage itong tatlo. Which is, you have to have more experience, more gain, and more time and flexibility on handling technologies. Kasi hindi ganun kadali. Kapag may issue ka sa Windows server, you have to do with Windows. Then if you have exchange uh, email na spam kayo, kailangan mo i-resolve din yung issue, which is mahirap. Then, as of, as of this year, um, pasalamat ako sa Diyos kasi 
natapos ko yung uh, Microsoft Certified Trainer, which is my goal is to uh, teach others, other professionals to push through with their certification. If they if they cannot manage their time, they can actually ask me. I can also give trainings. Depende sa availability niyo. Okay. Um, okay. Just to let you know. I'm a Microsoft Certified <coughs> Trainer at the same time, Microsoft Certified Professional, and then Microsoft Certified so Solutions Expert. Ginagaya lang kita, sir. It takes years actually to do this. Hindi naman ganun kadaling. It's through experience then. Okay? Una-una, I'll give you the outline. Ayan na yung outline, ginigit ko na. Bakit natin, what are the skills to get uh, certified one day? What are the experience they need to require? So now, what is this Microsoft Certified Program? Bakit natin ginagawa? Ano yung pathway? Then, how much yung exam cost ng sa industry? Then, ano yung trends ng Microsoft? And what the last will be yung value ng certification? Um, okay, let's start up. What are the skills to get certified? First thing, you need to find five free or in-house training. Usually, the mga trainings yan available on YouTube. May mga trainers din doon na nagbibigay ng mga free on how to do, kung paano mo gawin yung Active Directory mo, paano mo gawin DNS, and so on and so forth. Meron doon. Then, second is always hit the web. Or Google. We always do Google if in some cases like we have incidents or issues at work, do namin research, which is sometimes on the forums of those people who experience it, they usually provide that solution. Okay? Get certified. To so get certified, you make sure you pass the exam. But passing the exam, it takes time also. <coughs> Hindi yan ganun kadali. Kung Microsoft lang, kaya mo siguro yan by one to two months. Kunin mo yung ibang technologies like AWS, like Cisco. Cisco, hindi ganun kadali. Di ba, sir? Tapos, ilang years bago mo natapos si CNP mo? CNP ko, ano? Uh, six years, since oh. 2014. Tignan mo, six years. CNP pa lang yun, wala pa ako sa IE. Oh. Isipin nyo, per, per certification program, may kanya-kanyang taon bago mo matapos. And then you have to prove your uh, value or your experience to that actual exam. Let's say, mga exam na to, alam mo, dali. Pag may mo, yan, hindi yan mababalikan. Like Cisco and Microsoft. Recently, when I take the exam, hindi ganun kadali ang Microsoft. You know why? Dati, pwede mong balikan. Ngayon, hindi. Pag natapos mo, another set of questions, kailangan mong tapusin, mag end next stage by stage by stage ang mga exam. Kaya tandaan ninyo, if you're going to take any certification nowadays, hindi ganun kadali. Okay? Next. It's what experience they need to acquire. Unang una, find out what field it's right for you. Ano bang field na mga gusto ninyo? At depende, once na lumabas kayo dyan sa field na yan, ano yung kailangan ninyo? Like for example, some of us, like Sir Ryan, because Sir Ryan is one of the, we are same computer, but ended up, some of us become developers, some of us become administrators. Some of us become uh, project managers. Some of us become um, nasa IT management. Kaya depende kung saan field ka malilihis. Kaya tandaan nyo, when you go out to the real world, it's the same thing. Isipin nyo kung saan field muna kayo papasok. At isipin nyo ano yung value nyo for this. Okay. Second is, kailangan tapusin yung yung, yung ano to, uh, bachelor's degree. Because in major companies like MNCs, 
usually they value also your bachelor's degree. Okay? Since I know majority of you are graduating students, then plus factor na. Then you know what to focus on next. Okay? Next is consider yung vocational training. Ang, ang MS or any course, you have to constantly study. Ang IT is non-stop. You keep on learning. Okay? And you need to become familiar with various operating systems. Depending on yung OS, yung pinag-aaralan mo, kung Windows Server, Windows 10, depending kung some field, Linux, or the red. And una, develop mo yung communication skills, which is, this is necessary if you're going to do uh, sales. Okay, ano ba tong certification program? The certification program is a certification that Microsoft enables IT professionals, developers to validate their technical expertise to rigorous industry proven and industry recognized exam. The Microsoft exam offers a broad range of technology throughout the Microsoft ecosystem of IT technology. Okay, masyadong, I'll tell you honestly, ang Microsoft kasi pro. <coughs> Kasi hindi lang nagpo-focus sa isang role base. It's, they focus a lot. Like, they focus on developers. Developers, you have, meron kang special skill. Depende kung saan ka mapupunta. Python, which one, Java, which one, um, visual, studio, studio. studio. <coughs> Depende kung ano yung focus nyo. Okay? Then, syempre, once you pass yung Microsoft certification ninyo, uh, then, marirecognize ka ng Microsoft as a Microsoft Certified Professional. But, passing multiple exams, magkakaroon ka ng large opportunity. Tandang, madidistinguish kayo for MCSE or MC, uh, MCSD. This one is Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer. Okay, for those who are uh, on the programming side, it's usually this. For the support side, sa ano to? Sa expert. Okay, kung nakita nyo to, ito yung current track, but nowadays, ang mangyayari kasi, it's, they are changing also. Kasi ngayon, yung mga certification role base is nagbabago na rin. Yung mga role base natin is uh, through the um, yung mga new type of examinations on Microsoft, it's nagbabago din. Kasi like for me, it's um, before I was itong level na to. But now, they changed the certification role base. Ngayon, ang magiging designation mo na is uh, Microsoft Certified. Depende sa technology, like for me, it's Microsoft Certified uh, ano ba yun? Uh, Messaging Administrator Associate because they, they keep on changing actually in certifications. Even um, Cisco, they recently changed. They said yung CCNA matatanggal na daw, magbabago na by, by the next year. Siyempre yung those who want to go for other fields like um, like uh, ITIL, if you remember, Sir Ryan, um, ITIL was on version 3, then now it's on version 4. They changed actually. Yung certification natin on on every 4 years or 3 years, nagbabago yan. Kaya siyempre, for us, IT professionals, we have to keep on evolving also. We keep on studying and we try to do our best. Okay. Kung nakikita nyo to, ito yung track actually, yung certification roadmap. Kasi masyado lang maliit, hindi ko lang maipa-enlarge may higi. But um, this one is available sa, ano to, sa internet. This one is a uh, download, uh, you can download actually. Then, if yung nakikita mo dyan, maraming exam kinukuha bago ka ma-certified on a certain product. 
yung mga grand building, uy, gumising naman kayo. Wala <laughs> naman na ano to. Baka ano, may tanong ba kayo unang-una? Sigurado kayo. Yes, sir. Um, for the students and sir, can you still be a certified Microsoft expert even though you're still a student? Or do you need to be a professional before you can actually take any of those exams? Is there any prerequisite, for example, a bachelor degree with three years experience before they can take the exam? Parang ganon. Pwede. Sa totoo lang, pwede kang mag-take ng exam. However, syempre, pag tinignan niyan, you pass within a certain year, syempre, they would still look for your experience. But you have to show, when you pass this exam or any type of exam, you have to show them that you are really a certified guy. Okay? Hindi natin sinasabing, oh, pass lang, pass tayo ng pass. But we need to have a practical. Like for me, um, sa mga e exam na yan, meron ako sariling, sariling system. Talagang gagawin ko, oh, I will do it. I'll set up my own Active Directory, my server, even my email, I will do it. Just to no, if in the event something happens, I will do the troubleshooting. Kasi yan yung usually tinatanong ng mga employers, have you done